been testing so many gel pens out in preparation for the big gel pen roundup Thunderdome that's going to happen later on in October. And I had thought I had gotten everything I had planned on testing out. And then I went into Target for a different reason. I need to go buy printer ink and some shit. And I go in there and there it says, it says freaking new on the package. It says new on the package, these Bic Gelosity quick dry pens. Now they had this five pack which is a black and four fashion colors there was also a bigger pack with more colors and then there was a smaller pack of only black pens that i saw at target and they were a decent price this five pack was like five bucks 550 and i had never heard of them before according to their claims they have a comfortable full grip barrels the whole grip the whole barrel is a grip which is interesting colors on the barrels are stunning like i love these bright colors so i'm hoping that they test out that way because that would make me so happy i'm going to read you the claims off the package now retractable gel pens dries up to three times faster than the original ones for less smearing super smooth writing experience comfortable full grip barrel and there is an asterisk on the dries up to three times faster. It says versus Bic Gelosity original based on average dry times of blue, black, and red. Individual dry times may vary by color, which is good to know about. That's not something I ever considered with gel pens, but I'm gonna look at the other ones at the Thunderdome through that kind of lens. If I like these, I might go back and buy some more. You never know because they look, the colors look promising to me, but I have no experience with Bic gel pens, so maybe it's time to get some. The whole pen, feels kind of like a like a rubbery sort of grip like this whole situation does it's pretty comfortable to hold but i will say that these divots that make like the decorative line or whatever these little ridges right up here those are not the most comfortable just right off of the bat in my experience but i guess when i've done writing with them i'll let you know a bit, a bit more these look very sleek and really fucking cool. Like these have a different look to them than a lot of other gel pens. Unlike some pens, there doesn't look like the only way to open this seems to be down here at the bottom, which for me as someone who's some, whoops, as someone who seems to be really good at breaking my pens, having it all be one like long piece is something that I think I'll be very thrilled about. The clip feels pretty fucking flimsy. I don't know if it is flimsy or not. It just seems remarkably bendy and not very like secure. It feels like it'll break if I'm not careful. Let's give this a little test. Oh, that feels, that feels nice. The black feels nice. It's nice and smooth. It's not scratchy at all. Ooh, I like the feel of that. Not comparing it to anything else, but just my first impression, this feels like, ooh. And just looking at what I'm testing here, None of these inks look scratchy or uneven at all. They all look super even and thick and not at all scratchy or with that white line in the middle. So that's really awesome. All right, let's check some of these claims. We've got the super smooth writing experience. I will go ahead and say that's what it feels like to me. The comfortable full grip barrel. Like this is a full grip barrel. They're not wrong. I think I need a little bit more time with them. This, like I said, this divot feels just, I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. I do like how this soft rubber up here sits here because sometimes this area can, with my heavy fist and my iron grip, this area can start to hurt. But I just, I'm not entirely certain how much this lower grip area is going to feel on my callus. But the big selling point on these pens is that they are quick dry. So it says up to three times faster than original Gelosity. I don't have, I've never even heard of these pens before, so I don't have any any like basis of comparison but what i can check is to see how quickly they dry so we'll just do a quick scribble here and there was let me zoom you in there was a small amount of smearing but not tons let's try that again like i don't know if you can even see that picked up on camera very 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 light smear if i wait for like five seconds it's pretty much gone. There's a tiny, tiny bit of smear, but nothing like super obvious. It does say that the dry times are based of blue, black, and red. So individual dry times may vary by color. So I'm gonna, when I test the colors out, I will do a smear test to see what they smear like right after the first writing. But like with purple, 
the purple smeared a lot more than the black did. So that might be an interesting test. I might as well just jump into it then. I'm gonna write these colors out and I will give each of them a smear test and we will see, we will see what happens, won't we? All right, looking at these colors right off the bat, I will say that they are all true to color. They all match their barrels really well. These are beautiful colors, nice and bright. The medium point is really like it's on the bolder side of a medium point, which I also really like. Very, very smooth. I actually take back what I said before about the grip. So far, the grip feels great. When I test these in the Thunderdome against other pens, I'll compare what the grip feels like, but for now, the grip is feeling pretty good, damn good. Smear-wise, the black actually smeared worse than any of them. On this, the black smeared the most, the purple smeared a little bit, and it doesn't look like the pink, the green, or the blue smeared at all. All of these colors are absolutely gorgeous, and they feel really nice to write with. Dude, I like these. These are smooth as fuck. They actually dry really quickly with the exception of the black. They seem to dry really fast. The colors are so pretty and they're comfortable to write with. They're not wrong. These are comfortable to write with. Like I agree with all of the claims. The only thing I don't have a lot of experience with is the other version of these. If I can get my hands on some, then I will before the Thunderdome. Part of me is like, Cindy, don't buy any more gel pens. And for the price though, these are a great value. So I am a fan of these in pretty much all aspects. I'm curious to see how they stack up against other gel pens, but overall, I give these a thumbs up. If you see these at the Target, maybe give them a try. I think I might go back and pick up the bigger set with more colors because if these are indicative, 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 indicative of how bright the colors in the other pack will be, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm all over that like stink on poo. Have you tried these before? Have you tried the original so that you can know a comparison between the two of them? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.